Hey, you have to get up. You're gonna get sick. Who are you? Gus, you fell asleep again. What do you mean again? How long have you been watching me? A while. What do you mean a while? It's kind of weird you've just been watching me. It's kind of weird you've just been sleeping on this mound of dirt. You're just here when I walk by, really. It's kind of hard to ignore. Yeah, well, can you leave? You wouldn't get it. All right, but it's cold out. You should get inside. Mm-hmm. today. I wish they'd all just leave me alone and spend all my time with you. I wish they understood. I wish I understood. I know you're still here. I promise I won't leave you. He's back again. Who's back again? What do you want? Who says I want anything? Can't a guy just take a walk in the park? That's a nice flower there. What kind of flower is it? I don't know. Well, it's lovely. Can you go? You know, I used to hate flowers. They're so hard to maintain. The pollen would make me sneeze. There'd be all sorts of bugs everywhere. You're bugging me. <laughs> My wife loved flowers, though. She loved them more than anything else. She planted hundreds every year. She talked about how she loved the scent and the color, how beautiful they were each spring. And the worst part was that everything I hated about them, she loved more than anything else and thought was beautiful. Was it hard? Always having them around? Well, yeah. Actually, I... I tried to get rid of them. I'd dig them up, cut them down, spray them with weed killer. <laughs> she would have hated that. But they'd always come back though, no matter how hard I tried. Yeah. But one day, one day I'm sitting outside the garden after digging up hundreds of flowers, stupid as it was, and I saw a single flower left standing. And? And it made me stop. It made you stop. Yep, it made me stop. How did one stupid flower that was probably there the whole time suddenly make you stop? Because some things just work like that. Some things just work like that. No, they don't. Something must have happened, something changed. It's like you said, it was probably there the whole time. Nothing had changed. It was still the same beautiful thing it had always been. It was still a pain to maintain. 
the bugs and the pollen never went away and still sneezed every once in a while. But it was beautiful. It is beautiful. Well, I think that's enough about me for now. I'll leave you to your own flowers. I hope to see you again soon. Not too soon, though. Good luck, kid. Dearest Charlie, I think that I will be going soon to somewhere else, though I am not quite sure where that somewhere else is. As I walked along the path today, I found this flower and I picked it just for you. Once alive, now dying, but never truly gone. I want you to hold on to it for me. I promise you'll keep it safe and someday when I see you again, you can give it back to me. Then I will keep it forever. Until then, stay well, stay kind, stay free. Forever your friend, Daisy. Dearest Daisy, I too must be going soon to somewhere else, though I'm not quite sure where that somewhere else is. Perhaps the city, or the seas, or the mountains, maybe even the university. I have kept this flower safe for you. Holding on to it all these years, day after day, I sat here with you. And now there has come a flower growing just for you. One I've found, one I lost, one that I've now planted. I want you to hold on to it for me. Promise me you'll keep it safe, and someday when I see you again, this will all come back to me. Then I will stay with you forever. Until then, I will live well, live kind, live free. Resting for a while, my Daisy. Your friend forever, Charlie.